All right, so I have a quick question. Why does everyone keep clowning Izuku because of his shoes? I mean, meme after meme after meme after meme. We can't seem to give Izuku a break. And I get it. His shoes are built like fire hydrants. I understand he wears the same pairs every single episode, but Izuku's trying to be the number one hero. He's not trying to have the number one shoe game. And do we not realize that Izuku isn't bawling like the rest of his classmates? No, seriously, I think he's poor. First of all, Izuku comes from a single parent household. Yes, his mother is technically married. Macy's off. Oh, she's married. Mr. Puff. She doesn't like to talk about it. But I haven't seen Izuku's father yet. And who's to say he didn't pull a jing and left as soon as Izuku was born? His mother has been raising him by herself for a while now and it's hard being a single parent and taking care of a kid who always seems to get the sh beat out of him and who miraculously started incurring these crazy bodily damages like homeboy broke every bone in his body like that dude from spongebob and you don't think that costs money you think her paycheck can can handle that can you imagine the medical expenses that went into izuku even as a child when he wasn't developing his quirk and she would take him to the doctor that probably cost a fortune right there and speaking about his childhood if we look at clips from when deku and katsuki were both children we know that their families are in totally different tax brackets in fact during the show we saw that katsuki comes from a nuclear family meaning he has both parents and his family lives on the more pleasant or upscale part of town like did you see how big his house was compared to the apartment that izuku lives in and i know that apartment's on the south side you know the bad side i'm not sure if izuku's the only one in his class that comes from a single parent home but to be frank i think that mrs midoriya is the head of household and she budgets her finances accordingly Fortunately, Izuku's household isn't the only one with financial constraints. Remember that one scene where Izuku asks Ochako why she wanted to become a hero? And we find out that she basically wants to be a hero so she can get the bag and help out with her family's well-being. Not everyone is made of money like Shoto, Momo, Tenya, or Katsuki. And I feel like this is one of the reasons why Ochako and Izuku are so down to earth and I love it. And I'm not talking about impoverished, but I do think his mother is in the lower middle class or working class, which would explain why Izuku wears the same shoes in every episode and in every movie. If the only source of income is coming from Inko Midoriya and she's out here paying bills, medical expenses, buying a shit ton of food, and overall raising her son, then she probably isn't concerned about Izuku having the latest pair of Churchman 4s. But honestly, who cares about the kind of shoes Izuku's wearing? He's got better footwork than most of us. And he's still pulling girls. Even if his shoe game is weak. Even if his shoe game is non-existent. Gentlemen, it's not about the shoes. It's about the integrity and the ambition. My Hero Academia is an underdog story. And maybe more people can relate to Izuku's upbringing. Like, how many of us come from single parent households? or your parents were in the working middle class during your childhood and you used to get clowned for having like basic ass shoes or not having the latest pair of Jordans or some shit like that. In all, his mother is a kind lady who loves her son and Izuku is a good kid with a big heart who will be the world's greatest hero one day. So why are we getting on homeboy for his shoes? Drop a comment down below. Let me know.